And then with the compass comes the map. As a life scout and experienced hiker, Zach Geddes is always prepared. And this this is a book. It's actually my dad's. It's, it just has um a bunch of stuff in there like how to make a fire, how to find food. But while scaling Black Mountain on Sunday, it was something his first time hiking buddy Samantha brought along that saved the day when they took a wrong turn. It just kept going like downhill and more trees down and like twisting and turning. The two 16 year olds lost their way at the same time they began to lose daylight. It's just like unnerving to be in the middle of the woods at night. Samantha called 911 and forest rangers tried to use the cell phone call to track their location. But the coordinates they weren't just were not strong enough. So even though there was someone out there and there was someone like in our general location, they weren't on that path with us. So it was just difficult. Zach built a fire while the pair waited hour after hour, hoping someone would come. With hardly any cell phone service in the woods, calls to emergency responders kept disconnecting. So they began to text. That's when the dispatcher saw the blue message bubbles and realized Samantha had an iPhone. The dispatcher told her to take a screenshot of the Compass app that comes with the smartphone. Just screenshot and then sent that off to her. Now emergency crews had their exact latitude and longitude and were able to direct them a mile down the path to a dock on Lake George. It was a nice, nice big rescue boat <laughs> yeah. there. Like spotlight, they had, uh, they had some water for us. A happy ending to a nerve wracking night and the teens say they have the iPhone app to thank. I would definitely thank that thing every day of my life. <laughs> Reporting in Albany, Anna Myler, News Channel 13 Today. Yeah, I think I will, because it ended up being a good time and everything, but...